Mosquitoes can be a real bother. They buzz in your ears, bite you pretty much all over your body, and transmit diseases. These annoying little insects are ranked as the world's deadliest creatures to humans, causing the life-threatening dengue fever here in Barbados and other diseases. But you don't have to sit idly by and let them terrorize you. There are spots in and outside your home where they lay their eggs, and you have the power to eliminate these breeding sites. Dale Holligan is the Senior Environmental Health Officer responsible for vector control in the Ministry of Health and Wellness. We would like the householders, business owners, any person that have premises to be their own inspector, basically inspecting their premises every week, at least one day a week. Check their gutters, check the roofing gutters, if their trees overhanging, trim them back. If you um, accumulate water, do it the correct way, which is you have a netting over your container. When the water come in, the mosquito can't get in. You can put an empty pet bottle with a cover on it, so that when the water rises, it pushes up the net when it gets to the top. What we know is that the mosquito will come and lay the egg on the netting and wait for water to come. So if you raise, if you put in the pet bottle, when it rises, then it can push the net up so the eggs will not be able to develop. Look at your containers. Are they of use? If they're not of use, discard them the appropriate way. If they're of use, do not leave them lying around. Have them in a shed or protected so that it cannot accumulate the, mosquito, the water or the mosquitoes cannot get in to lay the eggs. Um, if it's a container you use, then clean it. You scrub it out, you could put a bit of Clorox in it, you discard the water when you first scrub it out in the soil and not down the drain because it could be that you're discarding mosquito eggs down your drain. There are many homes with plenty of toilets. Are your toilets being used every day? If not, you can at least flush them once a day. Break up the surface tension of the water so that the mosquito can actually stop on the water because when it emerges it's going to stay on the water to dry it in. So if it don't have that then it cannot emerge. Um, some people say to put salt in the tank, toilet tanks. If you carry cut flowers you need to scrub your vase every day. You should at least clean out the vase every day. Discard the water outside and not down your drain. Some flowers are still alive so you may have to wash off the flower stems so that even if they had laid the egg on the stem at least you would have control there. In addition to what you just heard there are some not so commonly thought of mosquito breeding sites. One that is not really looked at is the drain board where we drain our wares and we would say the water is going to drain off. Somehow it do a collection and we actually found mosquito breeding on drain boards. So people have to be aware of that. Under your sink, some people got leaks and don't know. Some people have know they have a leak but may put a container in there and forget about it. Your dog pans, if you don't clean your dog pan regularly, it will become a breeding site. We find that the manholes, people don't clean them. So then you will have the mosquito breeding in there. You have drains um, not covered properly. So then the mosquitoes will get in. Then we have the wells. You have wells around your home. You have to ensure your wells are sealed properly. Your drainage pipe, you have to be have it in such a way that the mosquitoes cannot get in. So you actually preventing the adult from going in to lay the eggs. One thing that I must say, those bromelia plants that we see lining now the highway and everybody like them because they're beautiful, those are a, a very good source of uh, mosquito breeding. So now that you know where to look, get rid of those sites where mosquitoes breed and prevent them from laying their eggs.